honour for all of us to be invited down here and to help promote the World Cup in England and Wales and you know, to come to, to number 10 down in Street and be able to do that is, uh, like I said, it's a great honour for everybody involved. I think it shows our ambition, you know, as a, as a nation and also, you know, as a rugby league nation, sorry, we, we want to get into uh, just about every corner of the country and try and push the game because we believe it's so good and if you've got someone like David Cameron talking about rugby league, then we're doing something right. Yeah, it's going to be huge. Things like this and the World Cup next year on telly for England and Wales is going to be, it's going to be massive and hopefully um, get a lot of youngsters into the game. Yeah, I think you know you hear people talk about you know the Olympics didn't realise how big it would be and other world world events and I think until you're in the middle of one you don't really realise you think you know but you don't know and uh, probably a little bit of realisation when it comes into place now that we're in the capital of our of our country you know where the prime minister runs his business from and uh, you know we're here to promote the World Cup so it's pretty big news. Yeah, legacy is the key word. That's what they're talking about in the, the Olympics. And I was one of the skeptics. I wasn't sure what sort of show we could put on as an, you know, as the Olympics. But watching it, it was unbelievable. And people were talking about it. it. It sort of helped society in general, getting people into sports. And now it's our opportunity to try and do the same thing. And that legacy after the World Cup is what's really important. If we can get more people into the game, raise that profile, then we will look forward to being bigger in rugby league around the world. Rugby League's tried to build down down in the south a lot more in, in recent years, uh, a lot of effort put into that. Uh, you can see the, the likes of Dan Sargentson coming through Kerr and Dixon, it's, it's starting to happen that maybe yeah. the World Cup can help that kick on. I do, I, I believe so. Um, you know, two great kids are involved in our England Knights programme, uh, bags of potential and there's so many good athletes uh, you know, in other parts of the country where we've not quite got a stranglehold on it yet. What I'm sure can, can be introduced to Rugby League via the World Cup uh, and give us a lot more players you know, to choose from initially, but over a long period of time, you know, on the international scene, make us an even stronger nation. Yeah, that's it. I mean, there's people kind of from where I live in Hemel that never knew about the game, and now with, um, with kind of me coming through and doing a few promotional things at Hemel Stags, uh, a lot of people know about the game now and kind of follow it. So um, it's definitely increasing down in London. Yeah, it certainly will be one of the most exciting trips it makes. Um, certainly created a bit of excitement here. So yeah, a very successful day. And uh, of course, tickets are on sale now, so uh, how's that going? Really well, we've been overwhelmed by the response so far. Um, fans are really excited about the big parts of the tournament, so the, the opening ceremony doubleheader, the semi-finals at Wembley, but the final particularly is outselling all the others, still by five to one, so it looks like people are desperate to get that seat for the final, so uh, buy early if you want to be there at this stage.